So many times we're looking for the right thing in the wrong places, and that being in your health as well. And so many times we feel that we know what's going on or what we need to be corrected, and then we go to the doctor and we're on this drug or we do this thing, and then we're right back where we started three months later. And so I really want to help you find the true enemy in the camp. And right now, 80% of, of Americans are dying from stress-related disorders. Right now, stress is the number one killer, all right? What do you mean stress-related disorders? Well, how do you think you get high blood pressure and heart disease? Stress, how do you think cancer forms? Stress, how do you think you get kidney stones? Stress, how do you think your back hurts? From stress, okay? All of our health issues are from stress. Now, I know we're always going to have stress, but it's about adapting to those things. Okay, and so there's three main types of stress. First one is traumas, all right? Those are physical things, slip and fall, car accident, or the little ones that usually are impacting us most, taking care of our kids, picking them up, carrying our bags, or the micro traumas like sitting all day. The average American shouldn't sit more than two hours a day, and research is showing that at work we're sitting almost eight hours on average, and then almost another four, two to four hours watching TV, all right? Sitting to your, to your spine is like sugar to your teeth. It starts to decay, that's why we get arthritis, all right? So that first one is traumas. Second one, toxins. All right, these are chemical things. The air we breathe, the food we eat, things we put on our skin, drugs we take, these are all things that get into our body and put stress on us. The research showing right now is that this generation has more stress in one month than the previous generation had in their entire lifetime. All right, and I believe toxins are a major factor in that because so much of it we can't get away from. And then the last one, is our thoughts. And there's three main types of thoughts, mental, emotional, and spiritual. All right, these thought processes actually affect us and put more stress on us than the other two combined. All right, you can think about something stressful. Think about being at the zoo and a tiger gets out of its cage. Doesn't matter if we're male, female, young or old, we're gonna run for our lives, right? And you can think about a tiger getting out of his cage and your blood pressure will rise. Your eyes will start to dilate so that you can see your surroundings and get out of there. Your heart rate goes up, your blood pressure goes up. We want your blood pressure to go up, that's normal. That's a normal response to an abnormal situation. But do you see how we get that backwards and then we say, oh I have high blood pressure, I need medication to lower my blood pressure. No, there's a tiger chasing you. There's stress that's causing that to happen. Let's get rid of the stress and allow your body to normalize its blood pressure on its own, okay? Now, many of those things are heightened, but when your body's in that stress response, something's gotta decrease, all right? Your immune system slows down. Your digestive system literally stops working. Why? Because you don't need to digest food when you're running away from a tiger. Right? And that's why I see so much of IBS and colitis and Crohn's disease and see amazing results with that. All right? Because when there's pressure or stress on your body, it doesn't allow the body to heal, adapt, and recover the way God created it to.